Hello YouTube and welcome back. I'm Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we'll be talking about Kingdom Come Deliverance and more specifically about what I believe to be the best settings or stories for full or partial conversion mods for KCD. Now I cannot guarantee that the toolkit they release will be comprehensive enough for total conversion mods, but I think it will be similar to what we have seen for Bethesda games. So we can probably expect some masterful mods. So with that in mind, let's dive on in. So aside from the main topic of this video, that being conversion mods, I think a great place to start would be performance enhancing mods, either graphical improvements, shader upgrades, or performance mods to improve frame rate in areas like Rete. Those would all be great. Also, some quality of life mods like sorting systems and storage or separate inventories would also be great. But now let's get to the settings for conversion mods. So the first setting I would like to discuss is the World of Ice and Fire, that being Westeros from HBO's Game of Thrones. Since the launch of Kingdom Come Deliverance back in February 2018, we have known that the mod author of Seven Kingdoms for Total War Attila has been interested in moving Seven Kingdoms over to Kingdom Come, and based on the quality of that mod in Total War, this would be amazing. However, recently the mod author has posted an update that he is no longer heading in this direction because Warhorse has yet to release modding tools, which is exactly what I have been worried about all along. Their reluctance to release modding tools while the game is still relevant is going to lead to an untimely demise of this game. If they would have released modding tools 6 to 8 months ago, we'd have, we would already be experiencing full-scale amazing mods and the game could potentially be bigger now than it was at launch. However, my fear is that by the time they finally get around to launching a toolkit, all the modders will have given up and moved on. But with all that being said, Game of Thrones is the perfect setting for this game. The map itself would be ripe for either the Riverlands or maybe even the Reach, and it would allow us to experience all sorts of shenanigans while with raiding parties and the Brotherhood Without Banners roaming the woods. And all of that is without considering the additions of thousands of new armor pieces, weapons, mounts, and mechanics. So even though it seems like Seven Kingdoms has moved on, hopefully there is someone else who will still be interested in this direction when we finally get some modding tools. Another great and obvious location is Middle-earth from Tolkien's works. You know, the Lord of the Rings. Now, it should be no surprise to any long-term viewers of this channel that I love Lord of the Rings, and think that a great conversion mod for KCD based on Tolkien's work would be the best thing since sliced bread. The world fits because of the vast and varied regions of Middle-earth, but I think the best place to put this mod would be Rohan. The small villages and realistic medieval castles and fortresses would fit well in Rohan. This mod could see us as the player fighting against the forces of Saruman, ideally the Dunlendings. That way, we wouldn't even need to have orcs or uruk added. But with that in mind, replacing all the humans with Uruks would be epic. I would love to be able to team up with the three hunters and destroy the armies of Saruman. Think about all the amazing weapons, armor, and quests we could all see in a mod like this. It doesn't take much imagination to know that this would be epic. Next up, I have a novel idea. How about an Elder Scrolls themed conversion mod for KCD? Since Bethesda is going to wait till we all die of old age before releasing Elder Scrolls 6, how awesome would it be to get a good Elder Scrolls mod for KCD? To make things simple, it could be a mod to have a round 2 fight between the Aldmeri Dominion and the Empire. The map is plenty big to make this war one well worth fighting. In fact, based on some of the quality mods I've seen, I think it could blow the Civil War story arc from Skyrim out of the water. The beauty of this would be how easy it would be to use assets from previous Elder Scrolls mods to implement into KCD. And seeing as how wildly popular Skyrim was, I feel like this would be a great move to flush a whole new crowd of people into KCD and the community. Which, unfortunately, by this point, is almost dead in the water. On a less fantasy-oriented note, there is of course the potential for a mod set in medieval Bohemia, just a few years after the setting of Kingdom Come. Don't know what I'm talking about? Well, I'll spell it out for you. We could be playing as, or against, some religious reformationists led by visionary or heretic Jan Hus. The combat could be very crossbow-heavy and be centered around wagon forts. Still nothing? One last hint. It could kick off right after the second defenestration of Prague. If that hasn't given away, here comes the answer. This mod could and should cover the Hussite War, an epic, albeit relatively underrated war that took place in this very region, and features several key players that we have already been introduced to through Kingdom Come Deliverance. While this seems like a likely sequel to the game, I also think it would be a great direction for a mod storyline that could add hours of gameplay as well as new weapons, armor, and locations. I'm just saying, in keeping with the whole historically accurate theme and maintaining the exact region and almost everything about this game as is, and just adding new content, this setting is literally a no-brainer. Lastly, just a curveball out of left field. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I know less about baseball than I do about knitting. And basically all I know about knitting is that knitting needles aren't allowed on planes. But you get my meaning. I think a really good setting for a conversion mod would be the world of The Witcher. 
Seriously, think of all the parallels. Swords, castles, armor, horses, lakes, rivers, trees, people, fast travel? Seriously, if not for the Witcher having different races, a branching story, tons of magical creatures, spells, potions, items, and subplots, the games are practically identical. But in all seriousness, if that's even possible for me, I think that Geralt could fit very well into 1400s Bohemia. Sure, there wouldn't be any manticores or wyverns to kill, but there are more than enough bandits to chop in half, and more than a few fair maidens to mount, and horses to bed. Hell, there's even a horse named Roach just waiting for him. So I think that with a little creative thinking, and some storytelling liberties, the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance and The Witcher could collide in a very satisfying way. And a good Batman-sounding protagonist would really stick it in Sleepless Night's craw, as we all know he really doesn't like Geralt's voice. But enough rambling about what I want. Now a little more about what I need. Kingdom Come Deliverance is one of the best medieval games to ever come out, and I don't want to qualify that statement at all. It is fantastic. Sure, there are flaws, but not many more than all games have these days. Unfortunately, due to limited marketing and a bad press at release, it only sold between 2 and 3 million copies. This compared to games like Skyrim that sold in excess of 30 million copies, or The Witcher 3 which sold over 10 million copies in its first year alone, and by the end of 2017, the series as a whole had sold over 33 million copies, the lion's share of which came from The Witcher 3. So comparatively, for the audiences out there, it still did relatively small numbers, no matter how impressive their success on their first outing was. However, the one thing that could have potentially breathed new life into KCD and potentially doubled or even tripled their sales and impact would have been the release of a comprehensive modding toolkit and support within the first year, or preferably six months of release. By the time we finally get proper modding support, it will already be a year and a half after release, and the community is already nearly dead. So unfortunately, a game I love, made by a company I respect, is most likely going to serve as a cautionary tale to games and developers to come. Once the crowd is gone, it is much harder to win it back. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.